are all of them wrong? What is it that they're trying to say? I, I, I mean, I, I fail to understand. Pradeep. Sir, even today, even today, there are reports from the field, from the investors, that BACL is doing deposit mobilization. That's right, they are. They are, they are doing deposit mobilization, and they want to know whether it's legal or illegal. And they have also, after seeing this program, gone back to the SEBI orders, and they found that orders of 2008, they found the Supreme Court references in probably June or July this year. They have found all these things and they are in a sort of confusion. Are they going to get the money back or they are not going to get the money back? Because they have taken investments from three years to six years to nine years. And something going, some investments are going to mature after 12 years. But the point is, is this all these kinds of investments being approved by either the RBI or, or the CIRI? Are they an NBFC? The RBI has clearly told us no, that they, don't, they are not an NBFC. Are, do they cover the collective investment schemes? Yes, they do cover the collective invest, investment schemes. Right. Because the similar deposit mobilization done earlier by PGF and PGFL, that is Pearl General Finance, Pearl General Green Forest Limited, Pearl General Finance Limited, these companies, the illegal deposit mobilization that they had done, the SEBI has clearly told them that they have violated the laws. Not only the SEBI has said, the High Court has said they have violated the laws. The Supreme Court has asked them, how are you conducting your business? What's your constitution? Please let us know. And before you come ne next time for hearing, you are supposed to pay back the depositors. One thing is clear, they say we have paid back the depositors. But none of the authorities are ready to believe that PGF, PGFL have paid back the depositors. And the same business is being carried out under the name of PSEL, a new company. A new company, PSEL. The same group, the same board, right. the same group. They are coming from the same stable and they are still doing deposit mobilization even today. What is the SEBI doing? Probably a, a very various forums have taken up the matter with SEBI and probably within a few days, we might hear something from the SEBI and Reserve Bank of India with the way things are going. But investors stand to lose. If the investors don't get their money, who's going to be responsible for this? you got the boss jobs. you got the boss jobs out there whose only job is to monitor and warn the people, warn the small investors. Do acts to protect the small investors. That is why the entire SEBI Act 1992 was formed, because they wanted to protect the small investors. They found that there was a gray area where deposit mobilization was going on which doesn't come under the purview of Reserve Bank of India or EOW or but now everything is said there's no gray area you're coming under the particular act and everybody has got a responsibility the guidelines rules and regulations of even the Reserve Bank of India says that we have got to take punitive action against those companies who are doing illegal deposit mobilization are uh, not registered with the Reserve Bank of India and they have also chopped out four ways of doing it one of them is winding up the company now, Why? now the point is as far as any other company is concerned if any other company is found to you know indulge in something like this koi koi aisi cheez mein agar koi aur company hoti hai jo bhi ho matlab ke choti si koi bhi company hoti hai you know there are so many companies like for example i remember this company from gorakhpur uh, there was this other company from delhi there are so many of these other companies from mumbai you know immediately the the the, the regulatory authorities move against them there is a winding up petition the, the entire thing is uh, you know attached people are picked up they are arrested they are, they, are, they are sent to jail now there is the case of this gentleman who was running that uh, uh, mahalakshmi bank if you remember dhan lakshmi bank mr radhesham gupta radhesham gupta the woman is in jail you know he was picked up his property has been attached he is in jail now obviously radhesham gupta is a small man he he is a small man but these guys have businesses spread all over the country they are just everywhere they, you know, politically they are supposed to be very well wired. They have uh, businesses in Chennai, they have businesses in Kerala, they have businesses in Karnataka. You know, they, they, the chief ministers know them. They hobnob with the best of the ministers. Even central ministers are very, very close to them. Nobody from the union government is, is, is willing to make any statement against these guys. So, it pays to be very influential. It pays to have headquarters somewhere in Delhi so that you can get yourself photographed next to, you know, lots of union cabinet ministers and so on and so forth. Uh, do a little bit of charity, sponsor a few wrestling tournaments um, and, 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 and stuff like that. Come out to Mumbai, you know, uh, get yourself photographed with uh, lots of film stars um, and, uh, you, you, you know, you, you become kind of untouchable as far as SEBI is concerned, as far as RBI is concerned. I'm, I am very surprised, I am very pleasantly surprised that the SEBI, the Stock Exchange Board of India, and hats off to Mr. C. V. Bhave, uh, 
for the fact that he's actually taken such a stand. He has taken such a stand. What he has said is that, hey guys, you clean up your house and then come back to me. Clean up your house, come back to me, I'll help you. But you will have to clean up house first. You will have to pay back every last depositor. You don't call him a depositor. Now, this is where the lacuna lies. Pearl's group says, we are collecting advance against land. We are just, we are in the process of selling land. We are not in the process of deposit mobilization. SEBI and even SAT, which is the, uh, the Stock Exchange, Stock Securities and uh, uh, Exchange Board of India uh, uh, Appellate Tribunal and even the Supreme Court has said that, hey, this looks like deposit mobilization. This looks like money circulation. So there's a dispute over there. So far, the very definitions of what kind of business these guys are in seems to have escaped all the regulatory authorities. Now, my point is, at the end of the day, they will either have to clean up house or they'll have to shut shop. One of the two. Pradeep. Exactly, sir. 2008, 23-9-2008 uh, uh, judgment by TC Nair, the member of the SEBI, has clearly said that you can't do the business of deposit mobilization. You come under the SEBI Act, under uh, Section 11, AA, AA, 124, the subsection 124. You're clearly coming with it. There's a pooling of funds. The, the, the agricultural lands, as you said exact, uh, yesterday, are inaccessible. Then nobody can approach them. There's no approach roads. Individual customers have got no i mean investors have got no direct access about day-to-day -day happenings in that agricultural land they don't have any say in that they don't have a safe administration in that particular land in all these circumstances point out to the very fact that this falls under the purview of the SEBI Act 1992 section 11 and it is absolutely sure they made it that you have to take permission for the SEBI to have any more deposit mobilization but even now they are not taking permission. Even now, the permission is not there, and they are still doing deposit mobilization. February 4, uh, this year, 2010, after a continuous uh, sort of uh, campaign that you launched, we found that Masood and all the directors who have cheated so many investors of their money, lacks of investors. Right, but please, let me let me read out. Now, this is this is um, you know an order of the uh, Securities and Exchange Board of India, and this is what appears here on. Um, on in in the Hindu business line on uh, September 18th on September the 18th um, uh, it says very clearly and, and let me read this out uh, the Hindu business line quoting SEBI says SEBI has imposed a 10-year ban on Chandigarh based PGFL limited a public limited company involved in operating collective investment schemes without SEBI's approval this is what they say now I can't see Pradeep can I, can I see him on air please right thank you um, PGFL has mobilized huge amounts of funds from thousands of innocent investors under the scheme set a SEBI release. A SEBI order passed by Mr. T.C. Nair, whole time member SEBI, this is what you were talking about, this is what Pradeep was talking about just now, restrained PGFL, its promoters, directors uh, and persons in charge of the business from accessing the securities market either directly or indirectly. They have also been prohibited from buying, selling or otherwise dealing in securities in any manner whatsoever for a period of 10 years. This is what the Securities and Exchange Board of India order has said. PGFL had been earlier also in 2002 directed by the market of regulator neither to collect any money from investors nor to launch any new schemes. Now, if this is what has appeared, I, I'm just quoting one. I mean, there are just about any number. Uh, let me see. The, I'll, I'll just read out the number of entries that there are uh, when you say PGFL versus SEBI. Now, this has appeared in 359 newspapers. Yet, 359 hai. So, how can the senior people at PGFL or at PSEL say that this order does not exist. What are they talking about? I mean, uh, is it that the law does not exist? Is that, I mean, was that the thinking behind it? That the exist in the law does not exist? I don't know. You talked about it in the law. And the law told you that this is all wrong information. There is no such order. Now, the order ki matlab jo uska number hai wo hai supreme court ki aap website pe chale jaye wo order ki copy aapko wahan par mil jayegi to ye sab cheeze galat hain kya pradeep absolutely sir in the history if you see the history of pearls group from right from 1983 there has been a circle of doing deposit mobilization and again doing a default deposit mobilization and default and if a company has done default and it's again coming into the market uh, with another name, with another brand, it shows uh, a sort of, it points out the character of the company that it is taking everything in its stride. Even if they are defaults, they are taking it as the business losses and moving further. But the point is, uh, you have continuously orders being passed against you. 
you have gone to various courts of law and nobody has accepted your debate. 